Hi folks, Robert here with Rivet Training. Today we're going to look at workflows and how we create our cut sheets in AdCore. So we have one of our families that's uh, cable trade families that we have created and it's all tested out. I'll just make this say, let's just change this in flex, salary flexing here. So I'll go to the 700 and I'll click apply. Okay, so everything seems to be flexing good and everything works well. So what we do, once we create these uh, families and we have all the types, you know, click apply. Okay, this one works good and I'll say okay. So once we have this done, we build these robust families, then what we do, we go in and let me just tell these views for you. Right, we go in and we create what we call this our cut sheet. Now, I'm going to knock these windows down here so you can get a better view of this. Okay, so this is our cut sheet. And what, what happens is this is the project environment that our cut sheet is in. And this is our family environment where we created our family. This is just uh, another view of that family right here. And then in this family, um, if I look at my family types, and here's all of my different information. There are my coding parameters in that family. And there's uh, our formulas. And then we have more identity things here, like there's our disclaimer. And then if I click here, it should take me right out to that family page and then all the part numbers along with the material, um, how they've galvanized the stainless steel. So I'll knock that down and I'll knock that down. Okay, that's our toolbar information. And I'll cancel this. And then what happens with our, with our family, we, I don't know, just open this. We insert that family into our project where, where we can develop a cut sheet that I have here. This is one of ours. We have cut sheets for all of our families that we created. And some have coding parameters, particularly this one. We'll have to add them to our others. So, and what happens is if I go out into um, my 3D view, what you see is that family. And then I split them all out till it's parts, it's equal parts. So if you look here, I'll drag this down. So this is just the workflow we want to use to uh, create our families. So what happens in this environment, I basically just place each part in and they show up in the schedule. So if I just window tile these, just for example here. I'm going to tab these views. That'd be much easier for me. Uh, tab views. Okay. There. So in this view, we have our cut sheet. And then if I go back into this view and I'll tile these now. Take this one out. T. Okay. So if you look in my schedule here, you clearly see what's happening. So these are created. So if I take this out, as you can notice what's happening in the schedule. And so what we try to do here, this schedule, I'm going to just bring these back. If you look at our cut sheet, and then if you go back to that family, so I'm going to activate this view, or I'm going to just grab this one, and I'll edit this family. And if you go back and look here, uh, if I go to my down to my um, URL link to that um, web page, just click here, and there's that web page, and you'll see that the families type part numbers and the website will match the cut sheet. So, hey guys, um, I just wanted to go over the workflow with you. I had previous videos of showing this how to do, but this is for 
people that are coming into our group or on our team and they don't know at least our workflow. So hey folks, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video and everybody be safe. Bye.